When Apple released their Pro Display XDR, I immediately started thinking about selling a car or donating an organ. I kept going back to Apple's website, drooling over that display marvel, trying to stay objective and figuring out how to come up with an alternative. Hey guys, this is E, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is E Screen, and most people call me E, and my mission ever since Apple's Pro Display XDR was released was to find a display that firstly matches Apple's newest beast size and ratio. In the case of the XDR, that is 32 inches with a 16 by 9 ratio. Of course, IPS LCD technology, minimum 4K resolution, proper calibration, decent brightness levels, and of course, connectivity. In my case, I do all my work on my MacBook Pro, so being compatible and having a single cable that runs picture and powers the computer is paramount. Of course, the price had to be less than $5,000. And to be honest, it had to be less than half of it, because otherwise I wouldn't even think of replacing my current setup. So after days of researching, I think I found it. It's this one. Actually, I had no idea how come this was the first time I heard about this monitor. I guess it's a sleeper model, no one really talks about it. Now being LG, the model number can be easily remembered. It is 32UL950-W and it's part of the LG's ultrafine lineup. So just to clarify, LG has three main consumer monitor categories. Ultra Gear, which as you can assume targets gamers, Ultra Wide, which is self-explanatory, and last but not least, Ultra Fine. Now when we say ultra fine, we immediately think of Apple and LG's collaboration which resulted in an ugly offspring known as the 27 inch 5K ultra fine monitor. This is not it, but it is part of the ultra fine lineup. So just by looking at this LG 32UL950-W, we can see a lot of similarities with the XDR. Both monitors are similar in size, although the LGs have an inch smaller at 31 and a half inches. Both have symmetrical thin bezels, giving them a modern, clean look, and if someone was to listen to me creating an XDR $1000 stand knockoff with this amount, which I think will sell like crazy, from few feet away, few feet away, you might not be able to tell which is which, unless you of course look from the side, but you get what I'm saying. So let's check some specs and compare my discovery with the Apple Pro Display XDR. Alright, we're gonna be quick, I promise, so let's look at both of them. They're pretty much the same size as I mentioned. One of them, the LG, is uh, 5 inches smaller at 31 and a half inches. The big difference here is that the LG is 4K while the, the XDR is 6K, which is great. Aspect ratio is the same. Peak luminance of the LG is 600 nits while on the XDR 1600 nits, which is just bonkers. Both of them support P3 white color gamut. And the LG has Radium FreeSync, while the XDR doesn't, or at least we don't have official information for that. Refresh rate for both of them is 60Hz, and the dimension guys are pretty much the same. I mean, they look at this. Even the, the weight is almost the same. The XDR is a tad heavier, but this is just amazing. The LG has uh, built-in speakers, while the XDR doesn't, and both of them work in vertical orientation but the XDR has auto rotate which is just great. So moving on to connectivity, both of them have Thunderbolt 3 port, but the LG has a second one, an out port, which is used for daisy chaining. So you can have two LGs next to each other, hooked up with one cable and only one cable running to your computer, which is just amazing. Two USB ports for the LG and three USB-C ports for the XDR and the XDR is pretty much out of ports. At this point, the LG keeps on having an additional display port and headphones out. Also, the LG has host charging of 60 watts while the XDR is 96 watts, which is great because those new 16-inch MacBook Pros will be happy. As we mentioned, daisy chain for the LG, no daisy chain for the XDR. Finally, pricing the LG comes at $1,100 and in that price, you have anti-glare coating, an integrated stand of this amount, and that all adds up to $1,100. Meanwhile, the XDR starts at $5,000, and the nanotexture glass, if you want to have that included, is an additional $1,000. If you add the stand, that's another $1,000, and $199 for the this amount, totaling $7,197. Now, nobody's gonna be getting it with all those extras you're gonna be either having the stand or the vest amount but still look at this the price difference is just staggering 
So basically the LG costs as much as Apple stand and this amount adapter without the display, which is just hilarious when you think about it. So is the LG as good as Apple's Pro Display XDR? Well, of course not, not even close. The XDR is miles away when it comes to brightness, contrast ratio, color representation, sustainability, and a lot more. But the purpose of this comparison is to give you an idea of how much of a bargain the LG monitor is and what it has to offer. Out of the box, you have a very stylish and color accurate 32 inch monitor that gives you everything you might need to unleash your creative potential. Now I might sound as if I'm sponsored by LG, but I'm not. Although I'd love to be. Also, you know what, I'll stop here and I'll leave all the details in the full LG monitor review, which I'll put in the card above and in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.